right guys what is up not much here just getting out and doing something I've been wanting to do for a long time even though it's just a local trail and it's the trail that I normally uh, ride my bike on uh, today I'm gonna hike it been wanting to start hiking for quite some time uh, I mentioned it probably only one other time on Facebook but uh, yeah I'm gonna hike this trail this morning and then uh, when my wife goes to work I'm gonna go for a bike ride so let's do this I'm in no big hurry. I'm not trying to do any certain heart rates or anything like that. I'm just simply going for a walk. I do a lot of sitting on my bus, on my bicycle, at my desk. And the thing that you start losing whenever you don't get on your feet much is strength in your bones. So I really need to start getting up and doing something like this. And uh, getting on my feet. <clears throat> Won't be long. I'm going to come up on that part where that big hill was where I didn't want to ride down a couple days ago. I'm going to go down it on my butt, and then I'm going to climb back up it, hopefully. I don't have real grippy shoes or anything. Hmm. There it is. I'm gonna go down on my butt, I'm sure. Here we go. That's a steep little booger. Should I see if I can run up it? Alright. 
I got stuff in my pockets. Whew. I did it. <sighs> Ran up that booger. I'm gonna go backtrack and do this the rest of this trail this way. That's a pretty steep little hill. Whew. Whew. Yeah, my calf muscles felt that. Big time. Not exactly sure where to point my camera when I'm walking like this with my chest mount. When I ride, I'm bent over. So I have my chest mount, my camera pointed all the way that way. So whenever I bend forward, it's more that way. So, it's kind of something I'm having to tinker with as I go, I think. That's that corner I couldn't make it up the other day when I rode. You're coming around there, of course you don't know where you're going, or I didn't. And I just didn't have enough speed there to make that. Ah, there's the garbage over there. I guess I go this way, yeah. Nice downhill. Nice tire. So I'm using Strava. I got it set to hike. Never done that. I hope that it works. Hope it actually detects that I'm moving as slow as I go. Usually go up that hill right there. I'll just keep going this way. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm probably not going to do a lot of speeding up and, and skipping and all that kind of stuff like a lot of my videos. Ooh. Ooh, that's some serious little hills right here. I don't recall coming through here, or did I? I don't know if I made it this way. I know I dropped down back across that little road that we were at. But I don't know if I came all the way this way. I don't remember. Huh. I probably did, I just don't remember. Because I remember going through here. Some nice little hills. I think it's here. Okay. There we go. There's an arrow. 
There's Mr. Arrow. And we're going to cross over here to more of the older section. A lot of that that we ended up on was newer. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there's the old bridge. This is a new one. A little bit better. It's a beautiful day. Just a little nip in the air. Just a little nip. <sighs> Sorry about my sniffling. That happens whether it's chilly, freezing, hot, cold, whatever. The, it don't matter. Uh, my nose is always going crazy. So sorry about that. Uh oh, let's go over this. Maybe. Ooh. What's funny is my feet are slick. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad I'm finally getting out and doing this. See, uh, whew, beautiful trail. See, what's cool about something like going for hikes or a jog or walk or whatever, you don't need a bunch of expensive gear. So anyone can do this. Now I'm out here just in my typical shoes that I bought for winter uh, like a year ago or whatever uh, they don't really have any traction at all but you could go grab you up some budget hiking shoes at anywhere Walmart Target and uh, be perfectly fine and then you're set So, there's really no excuse to not get out and do something. What is that rope for? Probably not for me. Okay, son, I'll go this way, even though I can go that way. So, yeah, here's where we're getting into where a lot of that garbage is. Uh, fires me up. Absolutely hate people that do that. Hate's a strong word, but hey... Whenever it calls for it, then I'm going to say it.
hanging on the tree. Crap over there. Bottles. Bottles. All kind of bottles in there. All those cans. Of course, it's all beer. Bottles. See, this trail system's easily accessible from a major parking lot of Kroger and some other stores there. So, a lot of times you'll have homeless people come in here. Uh, of course, there's little punk kids that come up in here. So, it just burns my butt to see garbage laying around. I mean, like you can't even see it. Like this camera don't really show it as well, unfortunately. But off of that, and let's get back to the trail. But before that, please guys, don't litter. I hate litter. We don't have to do that to our planet. Even when I was a kid, I hated litter. I don't know why, but I just grew up that way. I'm not some tree-hugging, hippie, pot-smoking, whatever person. But, uh, and we can do better than this. We can do a little better. Get back to the trail. Good little hill here that I always enjoy going down. Oh, goodness. Even though there's some roots, you really get some speed up and some good flow. And if you do it just right, you can keep going up over these next little hills that we got right here, which is pretty fun. Got a little mud on the trail today because it did rain, like, maybe Sunday. I don't even remember. That's a good little hill that you get to pop up over once you come down. Then you flow through this one. Go up back around pretty fun then you pop up over these little hills here it's just a couple little and they're they're fun I like little stuff like that then you come down this and <laughs> yeah that's probably the funnest section to me in the in the whole trail because you come down that big hill and then you come around and you got the little those and then you come down and you got a couple more of them so it's a pretty fun section oh, again I apologize for the sniffling really do Beautiful day. I 
I really hope Strava works. Keep up with my stuff. I like keeping up with my activities. Helps to keep you on your goals and just something to look back at. I'm radical. Uh, I'm not following you, Arrow. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to make another smaller loop. I'm going to get a picture first. a little squishy. Oh, they smoothed that out. Yeah, that used to be rough right there. It was always tricky coming down it. Real tricky. <laughs> That's cool. I like trees. Downs. It's a little tricky spot with roots and stuff. So when you're on your bike, it's, it can be a little sketchy. They've really done a good. Uh, they've done a really good job out here. Let me change batteries. This thing's going dead. I knew it. One of those blue crane things. Look like a big old pterodactyl. They don't let you get very close, and I've seen him. He noticed me right away. Yeah, you won't be able to see it. And unfortunately the sun's up to the point to where it's washing everything out so hard to get a good picture nice little hill here never fun to ride a bike up way easier to walk much easier we'll go walk the water's edge here
I'll probably slip on these pine needles. Good stuff. Yeah. I'll go back in for a little bit more. I won't get too worn out though. So I still want to go for a bike ride. I know you can't see me because I'm shooting into the sun. Uh, I could take that little trail. That'll take me right back to where I kind of just come from. I'll just kind of go around. There's another. It breaks off through here and goes that way. Uh, I don't know what I'll do. I may go in there and just circle it around. Let me go right through here. All right, I'll go. I'll go this way. So I don't know if this is exciting to you guys or boring or what have you, but I'm enjoying it. So, you know, sometimes you got to do things for yourself. So yeah, I'm back out here by the picnic tables. I hope Strava worked be cool to see my little path and of course it'll be the same as when I'm on my bike pretty much but just be cool to see you know know that I walked it all right we'll go this way and that'll kind of circle us back actually to where we just were give us a little bit more of a walk I'd like to go run back up that big hill these darn shoes are so thin I can feel every little stick and every little rock I'm on there we are so there we are so far. Average speed's been around 2.2. Distance I'm at 1.9. By the time I get back to the car, I'll be kicking just over two miles, and I may walk around the paved track. So that's pretty good. So guys, of course, this is the, the paved trail that you've seen me go around a million times in my videos on my bike. I did used to walk this quite a bit even back a few years ago. Just to get out and do something. Uh,
of course that's one of the cemeteries I ride around all the time you've seen me do that hundred times and here's one little fitness area you can mess around in I can't really do nothing because my darn shoulder <sighs> I wish my shoulder was fixed I could start working out again but I cannot it won't allow me I think what I have is more of a soft tissue problem so it could probably be maybe fixed to some degree but it's really 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 like it brings tears to your eyes it's so bad that along with my back eh, it's kind of got me not doing so much real physical activities that I'd like to do such as working out now, my back don't really bother me when I work out um, a lot of your movements in the gym are controlled and slow and you're sitting down a lot of times or, or, or your back is at least resting on something a lot of the time and I never bothered my back much in the gym uh, of course it doesn't take anything anyways my back is my back is just screwed up from the time I wake up till I go to bed and rinse and repeat so and I apologize for the sniffling Well, we're getting close to winding it up, guys. Heading up the last bit here on this paved trail. Give you a little look at nature. Hello, squirrel. Good little hill right here. Show up, Mr. Squirrel. Hope the movement hasn't proven to be too much for everyone. I'm not really all that sensitive personally to the movements and stuff. Unless it's overly extreme. There we go. Alright guys. I'm back at the car. Uh, I got in right at 3 miles. And it was fun. Uh, the off-road part was a lot more fun than the paved track. Uh, these shoes that I got are that really don't have any sort of support or whatever they're just kind of cheap $25 shoes I got them because I'm always on a budget and they had a smidgen bit of insulation that has helped out just a smidgen bit during the winter not a whole lot but anyway good hike I really enjoyed it I've been wanting to do something like that forever and I finally did it uh, I will invest in a decent pair of uh, hiking boots because I do want to do more of that um, 
so yeah I'm gonna get home I'm gonna grab me some breakfast I haven't ate yet I lied I had a banana so uh, get home get some breakfast and then uh, when my wife leaves for work I'm gonna head out on the road get in a few miles that'll be good <clears throat> so yeah uh, that proves that anyone can do anything uh, if they just go ahead and do it so I hope you guys get out and enjoy your day um, do something to challenge yourself do something artistic get some exercise do something fun enjoy yourselves live your life uh, we only have one life and it goes quick so anyway everybody you know what to do so get up get out get rad and do it to it that's how it's done